Hey guys, it's Foxional here, welcoming you all to The Outer Wilds. And I don't know what this game really is, other than it was released free on Game Pass not too long ago. And I've just been kind of chilling to this nice banjo in the background. Really digging it so far. It's supposed to be some sort of open exploration game. I think we're on for a very nice adventure here. Can't get enough of these sci-fi games, by the way. Just, I always love the concept of sci-fis and spaceships. Like, I just think spaceships are sexy as all hell. And I can't get enough of this music. Even though it's just a little looping banjo, it's it's nice. With the starry sky in the back. It's gone! <laughs> I miss it already. Give me more. Wake up! Ooh. Well then. Oh, hello! Oh. So pretty! Oh my gosh. Roast marshmallow! Oh. Extend a stickeroo. Don't burn it! Oh, I burned it. Extinguish. Eat. I like it. I like it. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh! Oh, it's a good thing I like burnt marshmallows. Hold it way away. There we go. Getting nice and toasty. Get a little bit closer. Don't sway into it now. Look at it. Oh, look at that delicious mush marshmallow. Oh. Yum. Tasty. Who are you? Ow, I burned me. So, okay. Slate. Oh, you, you're you an alien. There's our pilot. Back from your pre-launch pre compact camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Make sure you fix the retro rockets. All systems go! Glad you're excited, but remember, if you wreck the ship, I'm not building you a new one. I'm not made of lightweight re-entry grade aluminum alloys, you know. Uh, there's that music again. Anyway, you'll need to launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you said goodbyes or whatever. Oh. Oh, I, I, I'm not. I'm not lying. I, I, I'm only a couple seconds into this, and I love it already. Hold and release for jump. That's kind of strange. Requires launch codes. Is there going to be, like, danger? I mean, I did step into a fire, so I'm assuming there is some sort of danger here, but... Oh. Huh. Oh. My. God. It's so pretty and beautiful. Holy shit. Oh. My. God. I love it. Horizontal thrust. Oh! Reset. Whoa. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Woo! Look at it go! <laughs> oh, that's so cool! Let's see if we can bring her in for, for a landing. Uh. Oh! 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 Nailed it. Nice. I love it. Whoa, hello. Do I look like one of you? Wow, that was just like the time you, the external fuel tanks exploded on re-entry. You'll, you'll be flying the big one, right? Look, hey, I, look, I landed it. Okay. I did fine. Oh, hello. What's wrong? Your smile is real weird. Hello, poor feet. Hello, Hatchling. I hear you're leaving us to go adventuring among the stars. When you return, let you, me, and Goshen meet, open a bottle of the good stuff. 
stars. Actually, other stars are too far away. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. An iron stomach is the mark of a true Hearthian, my friend. Our hardy hunter-gatherer's lifestyle seems from trial and error, by which I mean our ancestors survived by eating lots of bad things. Interesting. Oh. Uh, wait. Oh, I'm I'm in it now. Whoop. 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 Oh. Uh, did I die? <gasps> what the? F I died. I haven't even gotten off the ground yet, and I died. <laughs> You are dead, because you are dumb. You <laughs> fuck. God damn it. Okay, so, there is death in this game. I was mesmerized by the beauty. I just wanted a better... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Record time, dying in this game. <laughs> Wow, I am... <laughs> I just wanted a better look at the geyser, man. I just want a better look. Uh... I love it so much. I like this game. You're gonna be seeing a lot of this game. It's gonna be a lot to explore. Yeah, whoa! I didn't, I didn't see the explosion the first time. Did that happen the first time? I don't remember that happening the first time. Huh? Okay, don't step in the fire. All systems go. Yada yada yada. How do I run? Where's the music? Start the music. Don't worry, Micah. Don't worry. I'm not going to pilot your little model ship. We'll talk to this guy real quick. Just in case. Oops. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Woo. Woo. It's like I'm on a spring. Ruddle. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often anymore. Told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. I like that one. Yeah, the space program certainly come a long way. I should, I should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors. Okay. By the way, <coughs> by the way, good luck with those retro rockets. Can I upgrade my rockets from retro ones eventually? Everybody's telling me that these things are viable to explode. The pilot seat used by pioneer astronaut Feldspar is the, all that remains of our inaugural flight to space. Although it has been argued such a distinction requires a break, breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as landmark achievement in Hearthian history. Hey, sometimes in order to make an omelet, you gotta break a couple eggs. Hi there, friend. Marl. So it's launch day, huh? How's gonna miss you? Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launch from is getting old. It was about time he built a new, less flammable one. That big tree in the village would be a perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out in the space program. Just say the word. Current launch plan is thanks. Nice try. We all know you have it out for that tree. The launch plan is flammable? What? Pretty sure if we built a launch pad off a tree, it's bound to be flammable, right? But we all know you have it out for that tree. What? No, I was just saying it on the way of oh, someone ought to chop it down, you know? Specifically me. Haha, <laughs> you think it, this has to do with the time I fell out of that... fell out of it and broke my arm? That was when we were hatchlings. Who would have... who would hold the grudge for that long? Seems you would, friend. It's so loud. I can't, I'm sorry if I'm yelling into my mic. I can't even hear myself. Nice. 
Hello there, Space Cadet. I heard you're leaving for quite the Creator today. If you meet any of the other travelers out there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Mm. Oh, sure. I made all their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's shirts, drums, Rybex banjo, and Gabru's, Gabru's flute. The feldspar harmonica, of course, so feldspar has been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday that we're playing their, their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space, I'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out a signal scope and track them down. Okay. I hear music right now. Is that them? Don't think that's how it works. Oh, hello. Oh, aren't you two just adorable? Hello, astronauts. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but more rain won't let us borrow the signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll let, we'll even let you be it. I'm sorry, can't, t not today, no. Oh, really? But we can't play without a signal scope. Play with us later, okay? I want to fly. Oh, Fine, I'll play with you, you little... Sure, let's play. Woohoo! Okay, here are the rules. Galena and me will hide in these ra with these radios, and you'll use your... Oh, this is a tutorial. That's when a file who to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. I like the double eye, eye closing. <laughs> Signal scope. Haha. -ha. Interesting. Oh, I see it. You can't fool me. Yep. Found ya. Oh, you found me. My hiding spot was super good. Don't forget to find... You have to find both of us, okay? And we're back, guys. Sorry about that. I had to go take care of something. What am I doing? Oh, pretty. How do I get up there? How do I run? What the f Zoom. Frequency hide and seek. I see, I see. So it tells me Outer Wild Adventures. Haha, <laughs> found ya. I won. I'm happy. Aw, thanks for playing with us. You're welcome. Oh, I'm glad I played. Whoop, bonked my head. What is this one? Oh, it's still him. I, j I love that. Hey, dude. Spying on fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme. Seems he's helped me pass the time. You're leaving the crater. Guess we'll all have it a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water planet, Giant Steep. That's where I'd go. Well, I can't understand why. One time after the rest of the village had left to sleep, and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabbro told me of the first trip to the giant steep. I landed their ship there easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was. I guess too dark. Gabbro wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, but suddenly, Gabbro couldn't go any farther. Has a current you can't pass through. Just say how important this would be. Goodbye. Tell me more. I will. I was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabbro go any deeper. It held Gabbro back, almost as if it was trying to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabbro saw it. 
The tentacle of some hideous beast! <laughs> What's the sap line involved during Gabo's campfire story? Ah! I mean, that was what Gabo said anyway. Whatever it was, it freaked Gabo out pretty good. Everyone wants to hear new stories at the village campfire, you know? Make sure you bring some back with you. Oh, this is nice. It's like one big old happy family. God, I love the fucking guitar in the back. Where am I even going? I don't know. I'm just kind of exploring. Oh my god. What the fuck was that? Uh, jump. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that was a mistake. What the f... Okay. Hello, I should have talked to you and... Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside the fence? Gosson said it used to be bigger when they were hatchling. Because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I... Ghost matter is awesome. It'll burn the heck out of you. I wish I'd known that. You shouldn't be throwing rocks in there. Ghost matter is dangerous. You no know ghost matter is how Tektite lost their foot, right? Whoa, really? That is so cool. Just about lost my own foot when it jumped in there haphazardly. Holy shit, it scared the shit out of me. Was not expecting something like that. Dr. Moraine. Hmm? Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. Any good sounds from space today? There are! My signal scope is set to Outer Worlds Ventures frequency, so I am listening to Traveler's Music. Last night I heard Ryback's banjo coming from the Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. Zoom in, hold RB. Aww. That's awesome. That when they line up like that, they... Oh, that's, that's fucking cool. What was that? That was nice. I like that. That was cool. Sweet. How big is this universe? What? Hello? You scout launcher. Aim launcher. Launch scout. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so neat. Oh, it's about to hit the ground. Hold RB. Whoa. Sweet. That was cool. Is there a fall damage? I, I nearly died a second time. I'm pretty sure I don't really want to. Zero. Zero G cave. That sounds fun. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Right, like you weren't nervous your first flight. A little nervous. Are you kidding? I'm a natural. I'm a natural at this. Is that so funny? I seem to recall the first time you strapped on a jetpack. We had to come fish you out of the crater near the South Pole. So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the zero G cave in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last minute zero G practice, head down the lift and into the cave, or don't. So long as you're confident to keep the ship repairs in its space. One repaired satellite coming up. Cool, get to it. If you can try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. Okay. Activate lift. Oh my god, this thing's fast. Holy sh... What the... F Space inside a planet. Are we going to like the planet's core? Holy shit. Flash that. Oh, this is creepy. Okay. Oh, it really is a zero G cave. 
Suit up. Ooh. Whoosh. What's up? Talk to Tup. Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. I'm getting some zero G time in. Give me the dirt. Guess I'm going. Guess where I'm going today. So are you going in there? In the cave? Hmm. What? No, I'm fine. Great and fine. You don't look fine. Well, you know, I hate the cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. Phew. Now I got hand sweats. Okay. Okay. You didn't have to talk about it. You're the one who kind of put up a fuss about the whole thing. Oh, there's fuel. Oh, boy. Okay. Gotta manage the fuel. Guessing we don't want to land too hard or else we break our legs. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, my God. It's so deep. What the hell? What? Press. Interesting. What do I do now? Okay, I match the velocity. What do I do? Ah, I see, I see. Just gotta get close enough. Whoops. Oh, this is easy. And satisfying. Look at that. Taped it right up. I keep wanting to press A to, uh... I wish I could rotate. How do I rotate? Roll and hold R. This this ain't really so much rolling. Oh, help! Hold LB. There we go. Okay, that's less disorienting. So where's the last of the things that need to be repaired? Nope, oh, bonked my head. Is it inside? There we go. Down, 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 down. I'm going up. Oh, shit. I don't know which way is up and which way is down anymore. Which, what way am I facing? Okay. Uh, is there a way to, like, reset my... Okay, I think this is up. There we go. Just oh no 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 This is a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Okay, there we go. I'm getting the hang of it. How there we go, hold the repair. Tape all these wires up, that's right. Oh, this is fun. Now, that you, now I got the hang of it. Okay, there it is. Need to get out of here before I run out of fuel. Ow! Ow! Oh! It is now not zero G. It is now... Whoa! Hello, world. Whoop! Perfect ten. Done did it. I am uh, so amazing. I am the greatest. Yeah. Man, this is a fast fucking elevator. Yeah, I did your thing. Nicely done. Of course, it will be a little bit more stressful when you're hurling through space, but just remember, you're training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you itching to get off to this rocks, so get to the, la the launch codes from the observatory and get out there already. What happened to your eye? Best of luck out there, and try to avoid getting yourself killed 
Now that I've been put so much time in training you, you got it? Nice. Okay, I, you, you, yes, I understand. You didn't have to tell me again. Where's the observatory? Ah, the big old observatory over there. Yeah, makes sense. Checks out. I am assuming there is fall damage and I don't want to jump off the top of this rock. Can I go inside here? Nope. Cannot. Woo! Well, that's... something. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the trans translators do inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any nobody text you want. Anywhere you are, the two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that, too. So don't break it, okay? Haha, <laughs> oh, jeez, don't, do not break it. Ah, uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. And I'm not even the one going to space. How are you feeling? I am excited. Good, you've only been waiting for this day ever since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. So what's the dirt? You here to see the Nomai statue? The new Nomai statue. Just here for the launch codes. Yeah, I get that you're dying to head out into space, but seriously, you've got to see the statue before you go. It's an amazing find. Make me wish we could see that real live Nomai looks like. But I wish this is as... God, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. <laughs> this is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know? And how, for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, oh, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on. You have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Huh. Fur is weird. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with the most detailed look at the Nomai who appear to have been covered by a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as a part of the antlers. Although the artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. Sweet. Oh my god. What are you? Oh, you are terrifying. What are you? The anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to the to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to, to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Oh, so that's what we're gonna have to deal with. Mmm. What are you? Space rock. Man, I love the day-night cycle. It's nice. It's pretty. What the fuck? What the fuck? <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, you're a tricky rock. What are you? The strange mock rock moving around this grotto appears to react to conscious operation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of op... Optical illusion at play, but Gabbro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever that is actually happening, both sides of the debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. Yeah, I don't uh, doubt uh, that. Ha ha ha. Can't disappear on me. I uh, fuck. Okay. Creepy rock. What the fuck? Um, I want it back on the ground, please. I want it back on the ground. Oh, disorienting. What the fuck is this thing? This crystal was taken from No My Ruin in Brittle Hollow. It seems to create local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surface. Try it out. No. I already done did that, and I don't feel that doing it no more. Is this a baby thing? What did I, what? Hold to translate. We are nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction. 
and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Adderlock lack of atmos all, yeah, Adder Adder Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Interesting. Huh. That's cool. That that's cool right there. That's that's real neat. That's a neato thing. What are you? Your little balls, what are you? Watch closely, these balls move on their own. No shit. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the Adel Rock's gravity pulls an object pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. <gasps> Does that mean I can move on my own on a level surface like those balls? No. Okay. Launch codes, please, sir. There you are. I was just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. Yes, please. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with the Nomad Translator tool. I'll confess, I've been... Ge I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomad. And you, Hal, shall be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan before once you're in space? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna wing it. I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. I like it. You'll have plenty of options to choose from. No one's ever landed on the interloper before. You know, perhaps you'll be the first. I must say, should you choose to go to Dark Bramble, be very careful. No one's explored there before either for what you'll find or for <sighs> oh my god i think i just had a seizure seizure either for what you'll find are excellent reasons well then looks like that's all that's left to send you off all in it all in all it's a fine day for a launch i'm ready to get off this rock i'm ready to die in space i'm not one for superstition but isn't that kind of unlucky to say before you launch <laughs> At any rate, here are the launch codes. Try not to worry too much. Our ships are ever better safe as Slate could be persuaded to make them. Best of luck out there. Let me know if we can help you with anything. Oh, view map. Whoa. Whoa. So is it just our so this solar system i mean i'm not disappointed just surprised there's not more though i'm assuming you you can actually go on, on every bit of these every last little section of these planets so i guess that is pretty a lot whoop thunk well, those are some weird launch codes. I'm get, I'm just gonna say it. Uh, there we go. Oh, hello there, creepy statue. Please don't open your eyes. Oh fuck. Hey, excuse me. The fuck just happened? Uh. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. That uh, totally normal. Hey. Hey. So, did you get a good look at that Noma statue? Yeah, the statue looked at me and opened its eyes. Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So its eyes opened and you saw the images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around you. You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking? You know what? Don't worry about it. No, that statue is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did. But why? 
Hornfels tried tried everything to get the statue's eyes open. And nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabro said that we're going back to Giant's Seat. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabro's, you know, Gabro. So maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, I'm, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use your, our translator tool if, to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. I want to get into space already. I ooh, don't fall off. I want to get into space. 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 I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall big. Ah, music. Hello there, youngster. Hello, astronaut. Are you going into space today? Are you going into space and never coming back like Feldspar did? Don't worry, I'll come back. That's what Feldspar said too, but they never did. Hornfels will really be really sad if you don't come back. Like how sad it makes them to talk about Feldspar. So you should make sure you don't get lost in space too. Okay, thank you, little boy, for your uh, your you know your uplifting enthusiasm. Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Couldn't do that with this one? Oh, look at it! The launch pad really is made of wood. Okay. Whoa. Ship log. Suit up. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? I know my text in the absurdity talks about how bring some sort of device on Altar Rock. And we're here on Timber Earth. Okay. Let's go! Buckle up! Lift up, landing. Whoa. Hold. We're in space. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh, we're gonna run into the planet. That'd be. I am disoriented. I don't like. I don't. Not gonna lie, I don't really like the flight controls. So do we have fuel? Equip signal scope, equip scout launcher. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at it. What is that? It oh, it's the polar... It's the... Kind of just want to explore the planet now. What is that? What is that? Oh, is that where I came from? That might be where... It... No, it's not. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Wow. Joe G. Wiz, guys. So we're going to go explore these ruins over here. That seems like a good place to start, right? Up, oh, up. Oh. Okay, we got this. Landing should be simple. Simple, 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 simple. Landing mode. Yeah, easy does it. Ha! -ha. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We have landed on the same planet we started on. Ooh. Look at this. This is pretty. Get, can you not jump? Okay, there we go. Ooh. 
This area doesn't seem as detailed as home, but you know, wish there was a run function. I can walk. There's a walk function. You can go any even slower than I'm already going. Whoa. Oh, ow. Mm, something tells me I should have suited up before I came here, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I can suit up in uh atmosphere. Ooh. So pretty. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back up. What happens if I can't get back up? Hello. Uh, how do I? Wait, what? Oh, I got you. Put it that away. How do I equip the uh, translator thing again? That's not it. I don't. I don't. I guess I can't do it unless there's something to actually translate. I don't know what that is though. It's a mural of some sort. A big tree, flying saucer. Huh. Uh. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I don't really think there's much more here that we can do. I'm assuming that if we go too far without any way of getting back up, we are stuck for good. So we're not gonna fuck. Okay, there, there's some steps over here. Uh, oh my god. Ah, oh, God. Took forever to get out of there. Yay. Oh, asteroid. Is that altar rock? Hmm. What is this thing? Hello. Oh. Weird. Okay, don't know what that's all about. Anyway, guys, this is about all the time I have for... This looks like a maze. What's over here? There's something in here. I knew it. Give me your secrets. Okay. Never mind. Anyway, guys, this is the, all the time I have for this one. If you enjoyed this, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and leave a like. If you guys want to see more content like this in the future, please subscribe. Otherwise, guys, this is your favorite Green Fox signing off. Thank